It really didn't in October. You're absolutely right. What happened is that um, in October, volatility did go up more than what people expected. People finally realized that these interest rates are, these interest rate hikes are here and they're going to happen next year also. And um, the wages are starting to go up. Uh, so a lot of things change, not just uh, in the markets, but also behaviorally and psychologically, I think, for market makers. We'd, um, when we get to hedge funds, what was very interesting, and we've looked across large numbers of hedge funds across many strategies, you find within long short funds that did really, really well and ones that were sort of in the disastrous range. And within quant funds, where you expected funds to do extremely well, what actually happened is people were probably less leveraged mm -hmm. than they used to be. So when there was positive return, those returns were not sufficient for, the, for what investors expected. Leverage so you're meaning borrowing. Borrowing, against. absolutely. Because a lot of the quant funds make their money from the leverage so long as the trade is right. right. So in many cases, the trade was right, but the leverage was low because there's better risk management in the firms at the same time they did not expect uh, what happened in October. So you're absolutely right, and it had an impact, I think, on what might happen to hedge funds moving, especially into the new year. Now, as liquidity gets taken from the system, as the right. Fed hikes interest rates here in the U.S., can we expect to see more swings of that nature, where we see just massive swings to the upside, massive swings to the downside? Um, and how do you think hedge funds should be positioning uh, for that kind of environment? And are they in some ways culpable for some of the uh, market activity that we're seeing that many average investors are sitting there wondering, you know, what's going on here and how did we, how did we see moves this large? So hedge funds, as big as they've grown, and that's about uh, three trillion, um, in assets mm -hmm. across the globe are still not the largest part of assets in the market. So I think when we look across um, what is impacting markets, it's hedge funds obviously have an impact, but it's really the long only, the mutual funds, the ETFs, the algorithmic uh, traders, you know, there are a lot of people who are impacted in the markets. Hedge funds are just one of them. Um, I think when we look forward, uh, what the hedge funds are realizing right now, and hedge funds are, it's kind of a misnomer because within the three trillion, there are many different strategies. And within those, uh, people can have very different levels of exposure. What I think people are realizing is that the level of uncertainty in markets has increased a lot in the short run. So both for hedge funds and their investors, you really do need to look long term. I know that's a hard concept to swallow, but you do need to look at three year, uh, five year, you know, kinds of time frame. Because if you look at the best hedge funds that did perform very well in October, they're the ones that have a lot of endowment foundations as clients mm. that do have a very different kind of long term vision of their portfolios.